Hi, this is a repost, and I decided to repost this particular video because I think I could have given a lot, but a lot better examples than what was originally given. Plus, with this video, I also incorporated myself, and it's a picture of me when I was coming out of high school, and I took it with my PS3 using the camera. I played a lot of rugby back then too, so I started building mu muscle naturally. Since I'm doing the same video over again, I might as well add more information than originally gave for better insight of the three body types I believe have major mis misconceptions of what they really are. Remember, the body types doesn't change, bec and because your body changes shape when working out, it does not mean your type changes. The body is always wan wanting to look a certain way naturally. With that in mind, it means the more your body wants to look the opposite of what you want it to look, the harder it is to maintain that look. The first body type uh, is ectomorph. The core body behavior is hard to gain mass or high metabolism. Healthy shape, straight up and down, similar to a pencil. This is for males and females. The body type is the most popular when it comes to sex appeal and is usually, and usually has a fit female beside a mesomorph when advertising products. The common sports to usually find these body types is basketball, marathon runners, triathlon, high jumping, or volleyball. The body is displayed whether or not the people fit into the body type naturally. What, body, what the body currently looks like in the photos are generally what the body shape should be. The advantage of this body type is that when they get gains, it's usually clean. And on the flip side, because the body tends to look lean, these people can have poor diets that they will have to pay later on in life since the body doesn't usually reflect eating habits. A thing that I noticed with ectomorphs is that they tend to have big arms faster than any other body types and sometimes to the point that the arms are so much bigger than the, their body in proportion. In the end, these people tend to have the definition but not the shape. Next up is the mesomorph. The core body behavior is fairly easy to gain or lose mass. The healthy or natural shape for males is a V-shaped torso. The healthy or natural shape for females is an hourglass shape. The fit shape mimics the healthy shape, hence why mesomorphs tend to look like they always work out because they have that fit shape naturally. When it comes to males, this is the most desired body type because of the V-shaped torso that gives off a fit look. Sports that commonly find these body types is judo, sprinting, swimming, rugby, bodybuilding. The advantages to this body type is that once determined, getting rid of body fat is the easiest out of the three and can gain weight just as easy. This body type tends to reflect the lifestyle of the individual more so than any other body type. With females, depending on the culture, this body type can be the most appealing or the most appalling, even though these types of females are more genetically blessed when it comes to fitness. A thing I notice a lot in the gym is that these body types, they tend to overdo either the legs or the torso. This, this is including men and women, with a tendency for men to overdo their torso, having small arms in comparison, and females overdoing their legs, having an endomorph look. In the end, these people have the shape and the definition. The last body type is endomorph. The core body behavior is hard to lose body fat without much muscle loss or vice versa, meaning fat is gained with gains. Healthy natural shape, they tend to be top he heavy or bottom heavy. This is for males and females. This is including descriptions like pears and apple body, body descriptions or shapes. For males, it tends to be the midsection, like ab abdominals, it tends to be a little bit wider or have like a bloated look. With females, they tend to be bottom heavy, so like their waist tends to be wider in, wider in proportion to their body. So like their upper body tends to be a little bit narrow and their lower body tends to be a little bit wider. So this is like half of the hourglass or sometimes it can be the flip side of the hourglass. This is the most commonly misunderstood body type out of the three because people will autom automatically assume 
this body type means overweight. When talking about how people gain bad fats, that has a new that has a new category on its own. Though certain body types tend to gain fat one way, gaining bad fats actually has types of their own. Like for example, ectomorphs tend to gain weight evenly. That can be called thyroid, if if I'm not mistaken. The big advantage of a natural endomorph is that once they gain muscu- a muscular look, they will have the thickest or the biggest natural muscles in the gym in comparison to their body proportions. The sports to commonly find these body types is wrestling, football, powerlifting, softball, or bodybuilding. This body type with men will have a bloated fit look or muscular soft look. When I say soft, I mean no definition. In the end, these people tend to have the shape with no or little definition. The next concept is mixed body type, syntax body shape, then body behavior. So with the body shape, it's what your natural shape is without really working out and just staying healthy. And body behavior is how your body is receptive to working out and what you eat in tandem. So, for example, if you're a male and you have a natural V-shape, natural V-shaped torso, and it's hard for you to gain muscle without the fat, then I'll call you mesoendo. With my logic, when I took this picture, when I think when I was like 17, 18, I was like playing a lot of rugby and I wanted to, uh, I wanted to like document my progression of my body. So I didn't really think I would use this as a YouTube video, but since it's a perfect example of how a mesomorph can look like without having much muscle definition, but having that shape naturally, I like to call what I have is the T-Rex syndrome. It basically means I have big legs, big torso, small arms in proportion to my body. And the funny thing is, depending on what I wear, it can make me look really small because my arms are not are naturally small, or where I, or something. Sometimes I'd be wearing something completely different and make me look a lot bigger than I really am. And one thing to point out is that someone's natural shape can actually be enhanced by their default muscles that tend to take over based on a person's natural body shape. So what does that mean exactly? So someone, let's say for example, has like a natural V shape. So when they're lifting up things, they tend to have like, let's say the lats activated more so than let's say their arms. So like say for example, like an ectomorph, since they don't really rely so much on their, their body too much, I find that with ectomorphs, they tend to rely more on their arms than their bodies. So they tend to have bigger arms faster. So with heavier people, they tend to use their bodies more so. Even though, technically speaking, you should be using your body more. But I find that the muscles tend to activate by default more so than other body types, depending on what body type you're in. So I find that the more heavier you are, the more your torso is more activated. Torso muscles are activated or back muscles. And then when you're an ectomorph, it tends to be your, your arms more than anything else. That's what I find. But this is just, just this is just me noticing certain things. So don't take this as uh, the holy grail. There are some considerations when working out because there are limitations to what muscles you can manipulate. And what generally I find the most common three areas that people mainly talk about in fitness is the butt, breast, and reproductive organs. (laughs) The butt is a big thing, and the reality of it is that if you have a flat butt, you will always have a flat butt, and vice versa. The butt never really changes with exercise, so if you have a small butt now, gaining weight with bad fats will not make your butt bigger, nor will exercise. The butt is a muscle, thus a tissue, yet it is something that is predetermined by your DNA and can't be changed and you can't change the shape of any muscle on your body. This is something that people have to understand. If you see a person that has a muscle definition that you like, 
No matter how hard you try, that particular muscle definition or structure cannot be replicated unless your DNA allows it to be. What do I mean by this? Just look at the bodybuilders or models showing off their bodies, and you will notice that people have slightly different muscle structures, like how people have slightly different fingerprints. This is the main reason why a person's butt can never change. A person cannot change how their muscle develops, but must be modified by surgery. Breast. With breast, I would say this is solely on a hormonal thing than an exercise thing. When talking about females, when it comes to males, I would say this is mostly a fat problem or a gynecomastia problem, when exercise won't do anything but surgery. Lastly, the reproductive organs. This one is actually all hormonal based, like breast. And if a male, for example, has too much estrogen, the penis doesn't really shrink, but goes down in flaccid size. When this happens, it means that for the rest of their life, they will have to take a testosterone testosterone meds to maintain their normal flaccid penis size with some cases making the penis useless unless taken regularly. In conclusion, what body type you are genetically prepositioned to be never changes, but you can always manipulate your, your body shape through exercise. Keeping in mind that when you're developing muscle, you're not changing the shape of the muscle. All you're doing is making the muscle grow, and that ultimately makes changes your shape. But you can't change the shape of the muscle itself. That's, that's two different concepts. So hopefully this was a better video than last one. And this is TX3 signing out.